Welcome to the real world. Welcome to the new world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is another video on my favorite subject this month, which is, of course, the Star Wars Galactic Space Cruiser Hotel Experience, which is really just a space cruiser stuck on the ground. It's not going anywhere. It's not blasting off into outer space. But by the time you paid your six grand, you probably wished it could. So this just gets even funnier and funnier. I made a few discoveries today. So if we just go on over to insidethemagic.net, now, this was posted on December the 7th. Star Wars fans are cancelling their reservations for Galactic Star Cruiser. And here's why. And of course, X marks the spot. And oh, look at that. We can see Chewie. Yeah, that's a well-known character. And we've got the order on the left-hand side. So Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is Disney's brand new one of a kind. They got that part right. Launching in March 2022, the eagerly awaited Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel will take guests on a simulated two-night voyage through a galaxy far, far away, probably drugging the customers and sending them on a psychotrophic mind meld of uh, madness yes uh, star guests will be fully immersed in the star wars story as each decision they make will shape the outcome of their journey uh, recently disney fans have been treated to numerous sneak peek looks on board the halcyon but it seems star wars fans are not impressed by what they see you think so so there's my mate gaia right there just going into full effect uh, her and the uh, Sean Jabron, man, when he's just looking at her like he's really transfixed, that is hands down some of the best acting I've seen from that Goldberg's, that Goldberg's actor. So yeah, they talked about it at D23. And, but what I really like here, oh, here we go. So we've actually got some screenshots and uh, available for booking. Now, if I press that, will it take me to the screenshots? Because every time I click on these hyperlinks, I don't actually get, you see, this is what happens. It takes you to the main official page for uh, DisneyWorldCo.uk, my case, but you can't actually make any bookings. Normally you'd be able to click on and make bookings, but here it doesn't take you anywhere else. So I've tried doing a mock booking, but it wouldn't let me. So kind of forget that for the time being. But oh, I'll tell you what, I've got something really funny coming up now. So on Theme Park Insider, this again was published on September the 30th. There is a video down here, which I didn't know existed. So I'm going to play this now. And uh, again, this is Anne Morrow Johnson. She's one of the Imagineers. And uh, Anne, give us the golden hits, love, because you just keep on giving. It's great. The most innovative and immersive experiences we've ever created will be launching next spring. I'm talking about the first of its kind, Star Wars Galactic Star She's a good Cruiser. orator, I'll give her that much. Our guests will live their own Star Wars experiences on oh. a two-night adventure. The choices they two make, nights? unexpected surprises they encounter, will determine how their Star Wars stories unfold. Passengers begin their adventure by traveling in a launch pod up to the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Yeah, it's just the shuttle They'll on have rails. they activities, Eat in Gambling. style at the Crown of Corellia dining room. But as this is a Star Wars adventure, you can be pretty no, sure that not everything is it. going to go as planned. <clears throat> and passengers will find themselves right in the middle of the action. So look at the, uh, let's minimize that for a second. Look at the background. And the, again, I know a lot of people in their reaction videos talk about the background. But it's, this is not Star Wars. I went to Star Tours in California, Disneyland, and that was fantastic. And that's just basically a theater where you strap yourselves in a seat. The whole theater tumbles around because you're reacting to a dogfight that's happening on a big screen in front of you. And that doesn't even cost $600. It's far, far less. Carry on, Miss Morrow Johnson. Making choices with unexpected story moments. Hide a stowaway. Kelly Marie Tran. The first order. 
Your choice Join the first order, man. What happens for you during your voyage, including ex So the only iconic Star Wars imagery that we see here, we've got a X-Wing pilot in the background, R2-D2, the First Order, uh, Chewbacca, and that's it. Where are the other dudes? I mean, wow. Ugh. Exciting activities and missions, character encounters, and adventures that go beyond and Again, as I've said before, you can go to a Comic Con and you can practice to lightsaber fight for nothing. You don't have to pay six grand for the privilege. Any ordinary vacation experience. And now, as a special first look, no, I'd like to show you it. someplace really awesome. We're here on board the bridge of the Halcyon Star Cruiser. And for the first time, I get to Ezra share bridge? this space with you. The bridge is the working helm of the Star Cruiser, where the captain oh, no. and the crew... Look at the background. I mean, that's got to be green screen projection, right? I mean, I can't honestly believe she's talking with an actual... Ba well, actually, no, that could be. No, I think it's still a green screen. It looks like it's... A, yeah, I think that could be a green screen uh, or a simulated program, perhaps. But either way, because it's kind of tilted a little bit. But it's really hard to tell, isn't it? Still, it looks like a really bad back projection. Guide the ship to all manner of exotic locales, to the edge of the galaxy and back in comfort and style. No, Out no. Out behind me, you can see we're orbiting the planet Chandra La, the namesake of the Chandra La Star Line, which in a galaxy far, far away is our ship's owner and operator. Don't Navigation, say Captain Keevan. power, defenses, and other critical systems are accessed and controlled from these stations here on the bridge. And during bridge operations training sessions, you will take the controls. No, get out of here. Knowledge and experience might be put to the test should critical situations arise. After all, it's an active time in the galaxy. And in the meantime, we're going to continue getting ready and we hope you'll join us when Star Wars Galactic Star oh, Cruiser and launches it. on March 1st, 2022. Punch it! Wow, I don't know about you, but the force was there with me. It really was. Oh, you know, I've got to give Anne Morrow Johnson some credit. She's a very good speaker. I mean, honestly... The way she spoke to the camera, she's got a good commanding presence. I've got to give her that much. She's really, really good. Again, it is not her fault. It is not the team of Imagineers. It is not their fault in that respect. There was just no one like George Lucas, like James Cameron. He helped out with the Avatar theme park that had his vision, his insights on what to do. And from what I've heard, it is a pretty amazing place to visit. Avatar. I wouldn't call it a landmark movie. Yes, it made tons of money, but compared to what James Cameron's done before, that's just nothing. That's just James Cameron selling out as far as I'm concerned. When you look at T2, Terminator, True Lies, then he made Titanic, but yeah, we can forgive him because he just wanted the Oscars, didn't he? He wanted recognition. But just going back to this again, maybe Bob Chapek could be somehow partially responsible for all of this because he does things on the cheap. So I'm wondering if some of his visionary business acumen was sunk into this. Maybe they, were, maybe they had to make certain cuts and make, do things as cheaply as possible. Doing things on a budget in mainstream businesses is nothing new. It's been happening for years and years. Everything starts out expensively, then it starts to downsize ever so slowly because it gets popular and then trying to think of the next big fix. So look, even if you go to Instagram now, which is really pretty funny, uh, Walt Disney World, 8.8 .8 .8 million followers. And look, there is nothing to do with the Star Wars Space Cruiser, the next galactic experience for 2022. There is nothing about it on here. I mean, they've got to feel rightly embarrassed, okay? But you know what? I think it's absolutely hilarious because, you know, it, you know, Disney likes to put itself on a pedestal and it thinks it's the greatest. I, I just have my hatred for them because, again, got to say it again, but, you know, growing up, I preferred the Warner Brothers politically incorrect cartoons to these safe, safe space cartoons for Disney. I d don't like their stuff at all. 
And you know, there are a few things of Disney that are like before they became ultra woke. Um, and I'll probably talk about those when I'm mentioning their uh, films in another video that I'm planning to shoot. But honestly, Star Wars, a galactic space cruiser, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Honestly, I've, I've enjoyed every moment of this. It's just been absolutely hilarious. And look, the, the, the bottom line is they don't get Star Wars. What they should do is to pull in real Star Wars fans. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I don't dress up in Jedi gear. I don't walk around the house like Darth Vader or in Darth Vader gear and whatever. I don't do any of that. But, you know, the last thing I'm going to say is, again, a big misfire of the whole thing, of that whole video, is that you're supposed to bring in, you know, even if you're going to get actors to play um, the characters again, maybe get Alden Erin Wright, who played Solo in Solo, A Star Wars Story, the film that lost money, you remember? You know, you could have probably brought him in. I mean, that'd probably be degrading, but has the guy acted since? You need, I, I don't want to see Luke Skywalker, that version from Ryan Johnson's film, uh, Ryan Johnson's film where he's milking a big seal. I don't want to see that shit because that's not Luke Skywalker to me. That's a degeneration of that character. No thanks. And I'm not going to be going, look, if I was a paying customer to go and see this, I wouldn't be one. I don't want to see a Ray wannabe cosplaying saying, I'm Ray, I'm amazing, I'm powerful, I'm a woman. Like, no, I don't give a shit about that. I just want to see like a great Star Wars experience. And so far, they've done the, the big misfire is they haven't sold the brand of Star Wars. That is what it is at the end of the day, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this little video today. I mean, I will continue to make videos like this where this theme park is concerned. But one more thing, actually, because I just remembered there were some comments on here. In fact, there are more comments that I saw on another page. So here we go. Jennifer Dudley from Birmingham, maybe. I've been trying to access the call center to make a reservation since 7 a.m. this morning with no luck. My son, who is autistic, is desperate to go to this exciting new Star Wars destination, and I really don't want to let him down. Please advise how we can get through to make a reservation. Well, poor Jennifer, if she's been, if she watches YouTube and she happens to type in the name of this uh, attraction, she'll probably find out why. But again, I do wonder why they don't have like an auto messaging service that they can call back people who want to make a booking. Uh, Brad Robinson, they shut down the call center for a few hours, somewhere around one to two um, Eastern time. However, they are gradually updating the planning page for GST so you can keep an eye on fully booked dates. So that may help with backup plans if you see your first picks are already taken. Okay, uh, May, have you considered a travel agent? Uh, what? Okay, Trudy Tibut. <laughs> Any idea when October or no November dates? Uh, will hang on any idea when October November dates next year will open only booking to the end of September now okay RR uh, is that JRR Martin perhaps uh, the phone lines were shut down all day on the 10th to the 20th, sorry, on the 10th, 28th of October. The Americans and their backwards uh, ways of writing the day and date are shut down as of that time. I can't even get into the system to put on hold. I don't have a travel agent. I didn't know that would, that would be required or be a requirement. Comments are closed. What a shocker. <laughs> I don't know if these people are real. They could be bots, but... Uh, you know, because they've all got kind of generic names or Trudy Tebbutt is kind of like the winner on this one here. I don't know, guys, but wow. I um, You know what? If Disney ever considered a line in comedy, I think they've got it right here, man. And look, it's interesting, isn't, isn't it? You've got all the, uh, I, you know, the iconic images of the brand names here, but... Uh, uh, why is, is that Rick from The Walking Dead? Okay, maybe I'm seeing things there for a second. Or is that Army Hammer? Let's not talk about him. But anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this update on the Star Wars Hotel, leave a comment below, smack that subscribe button right in its ugly face. Just give it a good right hook or a southpaw, and I'll see you on my next video. I'm a nerd, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> Change is coming, something new is in the air